Hey, I am coming to you guys live. Okay, so this is an experiment. I've got a new camera. Um, let's see, any time to view the post on Facebook. Okay, all right, so hopefully this is all working good. If I keep looking over that way, it's because I'm just making sure everything's working good. Um, but I did want to come to you guys this morning and show you my normal breakfast routine. Um, I love bacon and eggs. And so um, I generally make bacon and eggs every morning. My computer keeps saying something, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I think it's telling me if anybody's viewing it. So like I said, this is my first experiment with it. So, um, all right. So one of my favorite um, tools that I use every day that I have bacon, which is just about every day, because I love bacon. Me and bacon go way back. Um, one of my loves. Anyways, is the... Um, the right uh oh my gosh the ridge baker of course i can't remember any names but that's okay like it's one of my favorites because it makes the bacon crispy and good in about depending on how crispy you like it um i generally put mine in for about five minutes um of course you know i don't have paper towels or anything next to me so let me go grab those they're over here somewhere hiding of course all right, so when you put it in the microwave, you're going to want to go ahead and um, put one of these over the top so that it matches all the splatter. And then I just pop it in here for five minutes. Put a bing, but a boom, it'll be done. All right, and then my eggs. So let me go over here. Just bear with me as I get used to this new camera setup. And whoop, okay. All right. So I save my bacon grease and I just use bacon grease for my eggs because what's better than bacon? <laughs> bacon grease. All right. So now I'm going to turn on my stove. Oh, got to pick the one. All right. So I'm going to put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. There. All right. So I just put it on and I melt the, um, the grease. So one of the things is, is, you know, I love our ceramic egg cooker, but I tend to use these two because I can cook the bacon at the same time I'm cooking the eggs. And by the time the bacon is done, everything is ready. So that's kind of why I do it this way instead of using ceramic egg cooker and then the bacon, because it would just take longer. Um, but the ceramic egg cooker is so awesome. Um, it is a great way to get breakfast done super quick. So, all right, we've got our grease popping. And also, like, don't mind me because I just came back from working out. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I do most mornings. This isn't my everyday morning. And I'm making double the amount that I normally do so I can have some for lunch. I'm going to cook. I might as well pick it up and have some left over. All right, so here we go with the eggs. Once again, like, you'll have to bear with me. This is my first time using this camera, and so I have to reach over and grab something again. My salt and pepper. So these are our salt and pepper shakers. I love them. I mean, of course I do, but we had an older version and I didn't like those as much as I do these newer ones, which newer is relative, they're probably two years. I don't know, I can't keep track. All right, so I pop some in there. I'm gonna go grab my plate and my fork real quick. So once again, I'm leaving you, which is the golden rule. You never leave the camera empty, but I know you guys will understand because y'all are awesome. scramble oops gosh and I am just making a mess I'm slopping everything all over I usually don't do that but hey whatever whatever works pampered not perfect if I can do this anybody can 
that's for sure. It does not take a professional. I am not a professional and, you know, like, I like cooking because it puts food on the table, but it's not my favorite thing to do. I just love our products because they make it so easy to do it. And then this pan right here is our stainless steel nonstick um, skillet. It's the 10 inch, which I'd really love it if they made an eight inch just for eggs, but I use it every day. I have an induction stove, so I can't use our regular nonstick. So this works out great for me because um, it's like stainless, but it cleans up like nonstick. So you can see like the eggs are coming off here nice and easy. Yeah. Yes, and my stove is like, hey lady, don't pull us off. So, I mean, you're seeing in real time from the time I pull everything out until my bacon is done, how quick it is to get breakfast on the table or on the couch, which is probably where I'll go to eat it since it's just me and Walter. And it wipes out, like, I think you can see this, it wipes out pretty darn clean. And then all I have to do is just take a, um, uh, rinse it over the, I keep wanting to say stove, rinse it over the, um, oh my gosh, the sink. I don't know why I can't think of words. It's one of those days. Anyways, rinse it over the sink and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Now our bacon has five seconds left. show you this is how I like my bacon put that off and not put it on the hot stove which I almost did but this is how I like my bacon um, I will show you with my fork like it's not totally hard it's still pliable And you can just plate it up. And then I'll just split that out later. And then if you save your bacon grease, you can always pour it in with this. But right now, I'm just going to pop it back in the microwave. This is where I store my um, small ridge baker. You can also do lots of other things with it. You can do um, you could do chicken. You can do like anything, everything. You can use it in the oven. It doesn't really matter, but what's great is that it takes the, um, the grease from whatever you're making and it pulls it in those ridges. And um, I don't know, I just really, really like it. Like for me, I mostly use it for bacon. And if you saw all those brown things in there, um, it's just because I use it for bacon so much that I don't always rinse it out because it's the only thing that I use it for. So all I have to do is just take my, um, my little brown scraper and it's not even that hard to get off. Just, you know, go through and scrape it a little bit and all of those brown things will come off and it looks beautiful. Um, and that one is actually just a two or three weeks old. So um, anyways, I just wanted to come to you guys, show you what I do for breakfast and show you how easy it is to get a quick um, meal on the table for you, for you and your family or whatever it is. All right, so now I'm gonna try to close this. Like I said, bear with me. All right, bye.